All right, let's do some shell scripting, and let's also learn how batteries work on Linux, or at least in the Linux file system, because I see people doing funky things if they want to script something with their batteries. They'll use extra modules you have to download, stuff like that. It's way easier once you know the actual Linux system directory structure and how you can take advantage of that. All right, so here's what we're going to what we're going to talk about in this video. You'll see up here I have a little battery icon that I've actually made a little bit bigger for the purposes of this video, but I can run it on the command line as well. Here's what it does. It actually prints out the two batteries that I have connected. Uh, ignore the little emoji problem there. That's with my terminal. Um, and uh, it prints out their percentage capacity, and it prints out uh, a little icon basically saying if they're plugged in or not. So, for example, actually I have my cord right here, so I'm going to plug in my cord and show you what happens. Um, if I plug it in and I rerun it, you will see that one of them now has a little plug next to it. And the same thing up here, so my, stat my status bar has actually changed as well. It reruns this command every couple of seconds. Okay, so let me show you how I did this. Um, I have a little script for it. It's already on my GitHub, uh, but just basics. Let's talk about how to actually access your battery information uh, on the command line. It's simple. If you go to sys class power supply and look at the contents of that folder, folder, you will actually see all your battery status, or at least a list of all your batteries. Now, I actually have two batteries uh, hooked up right now. I'll show you. Let me actually take this off. Give me a second. Um, okay. So, I have two batteries right now. Well, now I have one because I took off my ThinkPad Slice battery. Now you'll see my little icon up here has now reduced to one battery. If I rerun that script, you will see I only have one. Or let's look at the contents of this directory. You'll see that it has now disappeared. If I plug this battery back up, let's do that. Let's plug it back up. Okay. Um, now it is going to reappear, and again, if I run the battery command, bam, look, it's still there. All right, so let's talk about what, uh, how you actually write a script like this. Now, to be clear, um, it not only lists your batteries, but these batteries, if you look at the contents of these directories, it actually has a lot of information. All of this is generated automatically um, about your battery. Uh, everything, you know, it has its serial number, manufacturer, stuff like that, a bunch of stuff you never think you'd, uh, so let's, for example, look at the manufacturer. I don't, I don't actually know what it knows about it. Okay, so it seems to know stuff about, um, the battery status and stuff like that. But for, let's say if you want to see, uh, you know, what kind of uh, capacity you have left. Well, look, there's actually one of these that is actually capacity. And if you look at the contents of that file, it has 48. That means my battery is at 48%. You'll see in the status bar module, it says 48%, right? Um, or let's look at the capacity of the other battery. Uh, oh, look at that. It's at 97%. Um, additionally, it has a little thing called status. And if you cat out status, uh, well, and this one, it means unknown. That usually means it's uh, stagnant. It's not increasing or decreasing. Let's look at my other one. Uh, it's discharging. It's actively discharging because we're not connected to the a the uh, power right now. But if I plug this in, let's plug ourselves in. Okay. If we rerun that, it's going to say charging. Okay. So here's what I do in my battery script. I look at only two things. Well, it goes through all the batteries, and I'll show you how I do that in a second. And uh, it gets the capacity, which is going to be, be the percentage left, and the status of the battery, if it's charging, if it's discharging. And what I do with that information is if it's plugged up and it's charging, I want to have this little plug icon. If I take this off, uh, I want it to just show a battery because it's discharging or stuff like that. Okay. So uh, let me show you the actual script and I'll talk you through it. It is, I just have it named battery. Um, uh, I had opened this before and didn't save, but uh, here's what it looks like. Okay, so first off, uh, this little part up here, we can actually ignore it has to do with i3 blocks. It's basically so if you click on the script, it'll uh, show information about it. Um, but here is the rest of the script, okay? Uh, we have, uh, first we go through a loop, all right? We have a little for loop here, and it says for all of the, call it batteries, in this location, that is sys class power supply bat, as we just said, that is the uh, location of where all your batteries are going to be, okay? Now, the question mark here, this is a glob matching kind of regular expression kind of thing. 
Uh, this means all the locations that are capital B, A, T, plus another character. The question mark is a stand-in for any other character. So if I, um, if on the shell, if you do something like, if you try and cat out bat question mark, it will try and cat out, um, all of the replace question mark with any kind of character, and that'll that'll be what it's looking for. Okay, so basically, anyway, that's just to say we're looping through all of our batteries. That's all that is. Now, for each one of them, it's going to do the following commands. First, it's going to get its capacity, and it's going to set that. It's going to get the slash capacity of it. So let's actually see what that would be in the case of bat zero. Well, that's going to be 49 right now. And it's going to set that equal to the variable capacity. It's going to do the same thing with the status. So it is going to take a status of that, and it's going to see, okay, it's charging. Um, so it takes that information, and I take one, there's one more thing that I do, and that is, uh, this is a request from subscribers who used my dot files. Um, let's say if you have really low battery, let's say we're not plugged up, I'm going to take it out, you're not plugged up, and you have a battery that is really close, it's like, you know, 25% or less, uh, you want to have an extra little notification, a little uh, warning that uh, you're going to need to plug it up. So this line right here, this is another example of, instead of using if statements, using very terse uh, code here, uh, we check... Okay, if our status is equal to discharging, again, we just took status from the status uh, thing right here. If that is equal to discharging, and if the capacity of our battery is less than 25, we're going to make a variable called warn, and that is going to be equal to a exclamation point. And basically, I'm going to print the contents of this variable out uh, in the final command. Now, it's not showing up here because my batteries have you know good uh, capacity right now. Um, but this is just an extra little warning that I'm going to put in here. Now, how I actually format each of these batteries is with this printf command, which is actually a whole bunch of junk. It's hard to read this command, um, but let's look at what printf is actually doing. Now, printf is, this is how, you, printf can be a little difficult to understand if you're a newbie, uh, if you haven't done programming before, but basically you just give it something, you could print some arbitrary text, just as an example. Okay, so if we run that script right now, it's going to, oh, well, I'm actually in read-only mode. I'm not even going to bother. Uh, okay, so let's do that. So if we, we can give it arbitrary text for it to print, so it's going to print all this extra stuff out, or we can give it strings, uh, meaning that's going to be, that basically, I'm going to give you a variable, put that variable in, or, you know, some kind of uh, command or something like that, put that in that string. Okay, so the three things we're going to put in there is we're going to put the, the battery capacity, we're going to put the warning if it exists, and we're also going to print uh, the battery status. But here's the thing, I don't want it to say just, um, I have this complex looking said command, because what I, I don't want it to just show the status, I actually want it to replace the status, instead of having a long word like charging or discharging, I actually have some said replace, substitute commands that replace... Uh, for example, we substitute discharging with this little battery, or we substitute um, not not charging with this little stop sign, or you know we substitute uh, the sequence full with this little you know I guess electric bolt or something, and that is just so I don't have all that junk printing. I have uh, just little icons, a little emo little emojis instead. I just find that is a lot more readable, and I like the garishness of emojis in my status bar. I know some people complain about them, but you know, get over it. Uh, that's what I do, and it's easy enough to do that. I just replace. I just have a sed command, and I replace all of those sequences with that. If you want to know more about sed replace commands, I might link. I might do a another video on these or substitute commands, I should say. Um, but I did a video in the past on this. Maybe I'll link it. Uh, at the end of this one. Okay, so anyway, all this is to say, we print out three different strings. The first one is this capacity, or this status command, where I have replaced all the the charging, discharging, I've replaced all of that with, uh, you know, some emojis representing them. The second thing it prints out is the warning icon. So if, the, if we set the warning icon because our battery is low, it's going to be an exclamation point. Otherwise, it's just going to be nothing because our, our warning icon is not set. And then the last thing we're going to print out is capacity. Notice here, I echo capacity into this said command. And what this said command is doing um, is actually pretty, uh, it's pretty straightforward. It substitutes an end of a line, substitutes 
the end of a line with a percentage sign. And that's just because I want a percentage sign at the end. By default, when we cat it out, if I go back up here, um, if we cat out the capacity, usually it's just going to have a number. But if we, uh, if we use a sed command like this, if we say something like this, so sed uh, substitute the end of a line with a percentage sign, it is just going to print that. Oh, I actually had to. Uh, oops. I just uh, accidentally uh, put in the wrong character. Okay, so there. There, now we're gonna have it printing out what we want. Okay, so all of that looks, um, it's actually very simple, very quick running because it just, this script, it just loops through your battery, it gets their information and it prints them out. There's no extra modules you need. And of course, if you want something way simpler than what I have, I mean, let's say you, you wanna go hyper minimalist, you wanna want a status bar that just prints out your one battery's capacity. Well, that's just one command, right? That's just sys class power supply, uh, bat zero if you just have one battery and only one battery ever, and then print out the capacity. That's all you have to do. I just like the little flourishes. And again, these flourishes you're getting for free, but I mean, nearly for free. It's not very intensive to run run a couple sed commands on this. All right, so that's about it. That's what I do. And the mindset, I guess, um, you know, I used to use more complicated things for my batteries until people, of course, pointed out, oh, why don't you just use the, the system internal things? But the reality is the importance is you know, you just want to be mindful of what your system has in it by default. And this is just the example of batteries. Maybe we'll talk about some other ones soon. But anyway, hope you learned something, and I will see you guys next time.